So for today, we're going to be doing the last call. This is the video we usually do at the end of the week. So that way you guys can pick up some of the stuff that Ada and Zer and Eververse are selling for this week. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at Envious Touch for Ada. This is a pretty cool shader. Definitely not with this, but it does have a really cool texture for armor. So you definitely should pick this one up because it is old it's from Season of Rivals, which was a while ago. We have Echoes of Io. This is a pretty good shader. Uh, it's a good white and yellow. Not my favorite, but definitely pick it up because this is from Vanilla Destiny 2 from a planet that's not even in the game anymore. Uh, Dead Orbit Vision. This is a pretty good gold shader if you're interested in that. Uh, unfortunately, you can't, see, you can't really see the gold in this one, but there is gold, I swear. And it's pretty good, actually. You can see it right here, uh, right there. It's a, it's a really like orangey gold, but definitely pick it up if you want like an, like a more unique gold, I guess. And then for armor, we have the road complex for the hunters, the devastation complex for the titans, and I don't even know what the warlock one is because it looks like trash bags. Uh, definitely pick some of these up. They're really, really cool. If you don't pick them up, don't worry. She usually sells them or someone else usually sells them because this armor is pretty, uh, they sell it a lot. Let's just say that. As for Zer, he's selling the new monarchy armor, which is really, really cool. Definitely pick some of these up, uh, especially like the hunter. I don't know the hunter. I like a lot of the hunter pieces. I think all of them, all of it is really cool. To be fair, though, if you guys don't pick this up, but you still want the armor pieces, then definitely go pick up the I say go pick up like you can do it, but you don't really have a choice. It's a world drop. If you don't get the new monarchy drops, then you can get the errant knight for the for the hunter and warlock and for the titan it's actually going to be a different armor set uh this is just to show you which set which pieces this is the warlock set if you guys want to get that and then for the titans it's going to be a different one it's going to be the oh no it's the same one actually yeah the carrick type 2 uh this is going to be the for the titans the only difference is the helmet uh for titans has like a really cool fur piece at the top that's the only difference for the titans and the mark the mark is super different as well uh the hunters the mark is a little bit different the only difference is the fact that there's like uh chain mail on the sides which is it, it is really cool uh, i think that's the only difference aside from the boots have a little bit more in there and for the warlocks the bond is super different so definitely pick them up it's really really cool just because like again a lot of it is really cool like as you guys saw for the hunters the cloak is super different not super super different but you do get this cool chainmail here and right here as well for the weapons we have a peculiar with encore and harmony which i'm not a fan of zen moment and element elemental capacitor this probably will be good for uh controller players thoughtless with perpetual motion and snapshot sites this would probably be good for pvp uh judgment of kelgaroth which is demolitionist and surrounded which is pretty dope we have Brigand's Law, we have Shattered Cypher, and then Lonesome with uh, Zen Moment and Slide Shot. For the other stuff, we have Hawk Moon with Killing Wind and Dead Man's Tail. Let me actually go and see so that way you guys can see what he's selling. Ugh, there we go. Uh, yeah, and then we have Dead Man's Tail. Sorry if I sound really weird. I just woke up. Uh, let's see. Pr Prometheus Lens, which I definitely would say is a pickup. Dragon's Shadow with, I think I said this in the Zer video, but if, if the discipline and the recovery were to switch, damn, this would have been, would, this would have been a cracked roll. Um, Mark 44 stand sides. I would definitely pick this up. Unfortunately, the mobility is pretty high for me, but I still would pick it up just because you get a safer sh shoulder charge when you actually have a shoulder charge. Uh, essentially, if you guys don't know what this does, it, uh, Grants an overshield when you're sprinting at full health with seismic strike, hammer strike, or shield batch equipped and charged. Hits with this ability recharge a portion of your melee energy. So, pretty cool. And then we have Fell Winters, which I don't like Fell Winters. I'm not saying it's trash. I just personally don't like it. But there it is if you guys want it. And then I would use the Exotic Cypher, but I want to save it for next season. So, as for Zer, because I know, or not Zer, as for uh, Eververse, we have. Vibrant Medusa, which is a decent shader. I ended up using this for, oh man, what's, what was that video? It was, um, oh, what's it called? 
Eternal Warrior. Yeah, I made an Eternal Warrior video. Um, and I used this shader for the ornament of it. And it came out pretty cool. Definitely the base look of, of that video looks way better than the ornament. Just saying. We have photo finish again. This is the last time you're going to be able to get this until a year. So if you have not picked this up, definitely pick it up because as you guys can see from the chest, the glows actually change color. So you guys get this RGB lighting with glows, which is really cool. Uh, my only gripe with it is I wish it took sh like it, I wish it shaded well with armor pieces and cloth because you guys can see it takes like this like holographic ear color texture thing and I don't like it. Um, we have, let's go to other stuff. We have triumphant, which is an air parent ornament. It's really just a shader difference, but like pop off, uh, victory's herald pistol pose. I think this is a pretty cool, uh, sparrow. Definitely cool. We have tug of war shell, power lifter, gladiator blows. And then for the shaders, we have grayscale undergrowth, which is from season of dawn. So this is a pretty old, um, yeah, it's basically just a gray and white. I definitely would still pick this one up just because. You might never know when it's useful. We have Rivalry Black Sand. I actually really like this one. Uh, I thought this was the black one. It might be the black one. I don't know. But the Rivalry Black Sand and the other one, because there's a black and white, both of them are really, really cool. Then we have Verdant Crown from Revelry, which is an old event. And then Verdant Chrome, which again is from Revelry, an old event. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Um, also be aware that this is the last week of, or last day, I should say of guardian games. So if you are interested in picking some of these up, pick them up now, because this is your last day. Uh, I, if you were to ask me, I would definitely pick up if you were like just one armor, like Tony, one armor set, I want to pick up. What do you think I should pick up? I would definitely tell you this armor set last year's armor set, just because all of it is really, really good. Um, after that, I'd probably tell you the contender stuff. The contender stuff is really, really good. And then I would say the aspiring challenger just because uh, as cool as the aspiring challenger is, there's a lot of pieces that don't change color, which pissed me off. And for these two, it's literally just the Guardian Games logo that doesn't change color, uh, which is super easy to just like ignore compared to like this one where the actually let's look at it real quick. Uh, this doesn't change color. The lines up here don't change color. The lines down here don't change color. And for Titans and Warlocks, it's the same thing. There, you guys usually will have pieces like this as well. So, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Be safe. Uh, make sure you pick some of these up, and I will see you guys later.